Okay, guys, let me come around here and show what we're doing here. This is a box of Irish Spring. Okay. This is actually our second batch. We didn't film the first one because we didn't know how it was going to work. So it worked amazing. So we're filming the process of how to do this batch. Now, as you can see, she's using just a cheese shredder. And we're making, lift that up a minute. We're making little pieces. You see the little pieces? Okay. And it's a three ounce bar, which is what we have here, to eight cups of water. I already measured the water out. There are eight cups in here. So we got eight cups of water to a three ounce bar of soap. And I'm going to turn the water on. So we get this water heating up. Once the water heats up enough to almost to boiling, we will start adding the soap. And basically you add the soap a little bit, stir it in, add the rest, stir it in, and it'll start melting. We'll bring you along for the entire process. As you can see, my helper here is almost way over halfway with the bar of soap. So they're soft, guys. They, sh they break down real easy. They're small bars, so it only takes a couple minutes to get this part done. And this is to make body wash from bar soap. And the reason we're showing you this is because as a prepper, I have buckets of bar soap put back. But I actually prefer body wash. So, with that being said, we are making body wash out of a bar of soap. You can do this, and it's the only ingredients is your bar of soap and water. So, in a SHTF situation, you can still do this if that's your preference. You can make a big of, as big of a batch as, as you want. If you want to do 16 cups of water, you can. You need a bigger pot, but then you'd need two bars of soap or a large bar of soap. So, there you go. That's that quick. That quick, guys. She's done. And it doesn't hurt to put this in with your dishes. As you can see, I'm doing dishes back here. So clean out the inside. Ah! Clean out the inside. Reach inside. Pull that soap out. <laughs> there you go. We want all the soap we can get in this water. All right. When this heats up, we'll show you the next step. Okay, guys. Our water is steaming, if you can see that. So we're real. actually you're starting to get a boil there. So we're going to turn the water down because we don't want to spill all over the stove because it is soap. And Allie's going to start adding the soap shavings to the water and stirring. Alright, girl. Slowly, one handful at a time. Handful at a time, honey. Mm -hmm. Don't get this plastic near the stove. There. Alright. We're going to do that. Give it a little stir. And as you, you'll see. Now it looks white because we're reusing the pot from our first batch. That's why there's white in there already. Alright, we're going to add the next handful. And it's funny how fast this melts too. And that water is really nice and hot. Here, take this and shake it in there real good. And the, and the, one of the fun parts of this is everything cleans up so great because it's all soap based. So all that will just go right here in the dish pan and we're cleaning up as we're going. Now the key is to slowly stir and you'll see this start to melt. And once I would say 95% is melted, you can turn the heat off and it'll continue to melt. And then you're going to set this aside until the morning. You actually let it sit overnight to cool down. Now, if you're up north, we're in um, North Florida, but if you're further north, you might be able to set it out on a cool night and let it cool down that way. Our nights are not that cool anymore, so that's not an option for us. Are we melting, Allie? Oh, yeah. See, it's starting to turn the water green, which is exactly what it should do, depending on the color of your bar of soap. See if you can scoop up a scoopful like you did before. 
See how much smaller her scoop full is? That's because most of it's already dissolved, guys. That's how fast this goes. The longest thing that takes time is uh, heating up your water. Even breaking down your bar of soap into shavings doesn't take as long as it took me to heat up my water. I think I'd like to try this with some of the Yardley's bar soap because they have some shea butters and stuff like that in it. So I think I'd like to try that. Pretty much almost done. Look at that. Now it looks really watery guys, but the really cool part of this is after it cools down, it gets really thick and jelly-like. And then from there you have to run the blender to make it nice, smooth, and silky. And from there it stays pretty much the way you leave it at, after, the blend, after you've blended it. And then it's ready to go in bottles and ready to be used. I don't know if you can see, but there's very... Alright, stop stirring for a minute. Let things settle. But there's very little flakes left in there. You can see a few floating at the top. But that's it. Everything else is already melted. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. This has been fun. It's something for me and Allie to do. It's going to rain today. So we have plans to... We're going to make prepper peanut butter cookies. So that's going to be our next project. Who couldn't go for some peanut butter cookies in an SHTF situation? Guys, we are in an SHTF situation for sure. So let's have some fun projects to do during our shutdown. All right, that's it. We're going to turn the heat off and we're going to let this sit on the stove and cool. Then when it's time to cook dinner, we are going to just move it off to the side so we can cook dinner. That's it, guys. The next video... The next part of this video will be showing you what happens after it cools off. So stay tuned. Okay guys, here is the result of the uh, bar soap into body wash the next morning. And yes, you hear the dogs playing with their squeakies. So it's kind of goopy. So what we're going to do, I got an assistant, so I'm filming and my assistant here is going to actually run the immersion immersion blender in here to make it nice and creamy and then we're going to fill jars you hold the button down there you go there we go what we're doing is blending because it kind of solidifies a little bit and we're going to make it nice and creamy and then we're going to put it in our bottles i would keep it below the surface as much as possible you're making a lot of bubbles <laughs> Now you can use a regular blender if you don't have an immersion blender. We hardly ever use our immersion blender, so I thought, well, why not try it on this? Is this starting to feel creamier? Oh, yeah. Alright. Alright, and turn that off. And then I want you to actually get a little bit on your hands. And, and don't mind the hands. This young lady actually played with um, egg dye the other day because it's right after Easter, so she could use a little soap and water. <laughs> All right, just see how it feels. Does it feel real good for body wash? Feels smooth. Silky? Yeah. There you go. All right, now our next step is we're going to get Allie to rinse off. You can go right in here. I have fresh dish water. I'm getting ready to do dishes. You wash off really nice. Mm hmm Awesome. Now, what the bar soap, and I'm going to do, I'll show you that. You should already know that by now. <laughs> All right, now we're going to, we have some empty body wash bottles. And we did this because we were still in isolation, self isolation, quarantine, whatever you want to call it. And the only people we allow here is immediate family. And we only have a few of those in this area. So we're going to fill these bottles. So if you want to get those ready to be filled, We'll get that done. And you got your funnel. Let me get a, a dipper here. Here's a dipper. Okay. And keep in mind, you can use any of your regular kitchen tools to do this because it's only soap, guys. This is actually Irish Spring. 
they were reusing old Dollar Tree body washes, which I did not care for that at all, which is why I'm doing this. This made a total of eight cups of body wash, which will last quite a while. Now, be careful you don't overfill the, the um, bottle. Yep, I'm watching the level. Oh, awesome girl. How can you see the level? I just can. Ooh, she's better at it than I am. Get your next bottle ready. I imagine you're almost full. Almost. It's nice to ha I can film and I have somebody helping me. We're going to do some cookies too. And I'll try and do a video on that. It'll be our first time making cookies here at the homestead. Perfect. All right. Now get your next bottle. Set that one aside so we don't knock it over. There you go. Another handy tip. You see my wok is sitting back there. Because I had to make a lot more scrambled eggs than normal, I used my wok and it went, it really did an amazing job for a large batch of scrambled eggs. I mean, last night we made some fried rice to go with our chicken. Was that good, Allie? Very. <laughs> if you remember, Allie's always been my taste tester when she's around. It's just basic ingredients, stuff we have here. It could be prepping foods, rice eggs because we have our chickens and we put we added some green onions onion tops from the garden and then of course some soy sauce you got to have soy sauce in that stuff i paid the price for that though this morning there you go look at that there's two whole bottles and it looks like we're not going to have enough bottles to fill but that's okay I wonder if we should use a coffee creamer bottle we just threw in the garbage. I have to wash it, but it would at least... <laughs> oh, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> or what if you fill it and put it in the fridge and Pop-Up uses it? <laughs> He's going to be so mad. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Like, why does my coffee taste like soap? Does that help? It's my own. So I think you could get four big bottles. These are like 16 or 18 ounce bottles, I think, that we're using. Can you check the how many ounces on the bottle, Valley? Turn it around the front. It'll say right on front. 12.6 fluid ounces. Now check the other one. I think that one's definitely bigger. The one's a shampoo bottle. 18 fluid ounces. 18 and 12 ounces. And then this is a, probably another 18 on this one. 18. 18. I try to get the 18 fluid ounce bottles because I usually have a good stock of them and for some reason this just got away from me and I couldn't get the brand I normally get at the Dollar Tree so I was really disappointed. <laughs> it's amazing. I can't wait to shower with it. Now generally I don't use Irish Spring to shower but all my other soap is packed in buckets, and I didn't want to dig and dig a bucket of bar soap out. So the next time I go to the Dollar Tree, which might be this month sometime, I will get some more girl-type bar soap. But I tell you what, when you work out on the homestead, and you get all sweaty and nasty, th there's nothing like a good Irish spring bath. But there you go, guys. Now all we have to do is put the lids on, and we can storm in our bathroom. You don't have to storm anywhere special. They don't have to be refrigerated, nothing like, not like Allie said. That would be horrible if we put them in the fridge and somebody drank it. But it'd be funny too. But that's um, the conclusion of this video on how to make body wash from a bar of bath soap. Thank you for coming along for the video. Take care and God bless.